five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. sink and not out of sync but uh what you want to get into sync i'll tell you how we get into sync we go check with our old friend will durst i'm reaching for his cup of joe i got mine here okay my big red cup my famous uh, red cup we have a cup with debbie and i in a limousine on the way to the comedy awards oh really did you win yeah. anything at the comedy awards no, um, seven years I was nominated, seven years I lost. Seven years in a row you were nominated? Yeah. And I you lost to, lost to Bill Hicks, I lost to Carrot Top, I lost to, can't remember, Dom Herrera maybe? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Hicks and Herrera. Seven years, got to go though. Huh? Got to go, seven years. Yeah, yeah. And uh, on to LA, put me up at the Four Seasons, that was fun. Yeah, well, I was not. What was the? What was it? Comedian of the year or something like that? Some. It was George Schlatter put it together. The comedy awards. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, they don't do and them anymore. One year, Tommy Smothers followed Debbie and I back to our room because she had pot. And one year, Rodney Dangerfield came downstairs. He was obviously staying at the Four Seasons. Came downstairs to the bar. With two, in a bathrobe with two hookers on his arms. <laughs> oh boy! And I I don't know if he was you know physically able to actually perform at that point. Yeah. Or he was just making a point. Do, do they know? do they hold those awards any longer? No. 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 Schlatter got tired of it, or he lost uh, he lost the uh, network affiliation, or something like that. Yeah, it was on ABC, and then they moved to Comedy Central for a couple of years, and then it just went away. It just went away. Oh, well, that's how much uh, how much it was worth winning. Yeah, it, you know, there are other comedy awards, aren't there? I don't think so. I don't know. Really? Hey, I'm involved in a project. Yeah. With a guy named Pat Johnson. Yeah, he's the photographer. Right. Yeah. And, and he's doing a book. Of all the comics that he, because you know he does rock and roll, he does comedy, he does sports, right? right. But uh, all the all the comics, because he did a lot in the early '80s and '90s, and you're in there, yeah, yeah, and wants to get uh, a couple of quotes from you, oh. and I have the uh, I have the the thing right here. Uh, the questions that uh, we're going to ask, because we're going to add, there's going to be a photo from the 80s, and then hopefully a photo, uh, f uh, current photo, or maybe not. Well, no. current photos of me scare little children, so <laughs> I, I I wouldn't suggest it. It would, it would not be a family <laughs> book. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so the questions that they want to ask yeah. are, do you remember... Uh, that time in San Francisco when you got that photo taken? Uh, no, because I was doing coke at the time. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, in the 80s, San Francisco was described as the left bank of comedy. Do you think it was different than any other scene? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was much more... I mean, I can't, I can't speak for other scenes because right. I wasn't there. Uh, I hear the only one similar to San Francisco was Boston. Uh, and uh, that was more a drunken bacchanal. Uh, you know, whereas San Francisco was like very, uh, what could I call it? Everybody cared about everybody else. Everybody gave advice to everybody else. Everybody was there for everybody else. It wasn't, it wasn't a competitive atmosphere as much as it was a collaborative atmosphere. Does that make sense? Yes. Very much, and and one of the things that uh, I maintain as well, yeah, uh, because there was no money, you yeah. know. Yeah. In New York and L.A., there was, 
you, you were competing for money. There was no money in Boston or San Francisco. Yeah, well, that's why the community's built up. You know, the what trouble. The, the trouble What's was is that yeah. that if you were in San Francisco, your uh, your your object was to eventually move to L.A. and have a career down there. Well, yeah. Okay, but that was the that was the, the, in the in when you were starting out, San Francisco was a great place to be because it was so collaborative and it was so nurturing. There's another term I would use for it. You know, I don't know how it is now, but it was then. So. Oh, it always changes. You know. Yeah. It's, oh, it's who the hell is uh, who's calling you? I don't know. Eight six three number. Oh, okay. It's Monterey. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Where were you in your career when, when the picture was taken? Do you remember anything about the shoot? Okay, to begin with, I'm, I vaguely remember the shoot. Vaguely. Um, but I would have to see the picture to make sure that I remembered it. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, next time I'll bring the picture. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Just three questions. That's it, huh? Okay, well, that was, that was easy. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna try to get all the all the uh, comics who were there. A couple other radio guys, uh, Don Blue, uh -huh. and Terry McGovern, mm -hmm. and Doctor Don Rhodes. Yeah. Who, but they, who's they, not gonna be answering many questions? No, he's dead. Yeah. But the others didn't do that many comedians, though. Although, no. uh, you know, no. uh, I no. did. Don Blue didn't. Terry, Mc Mc Terry McGovern. I don't know. Did Terry? He was a uh, comedian himself. He, he was more. Yeah, he was more of a voice guy than a radio guy. Yeah. He would fill in like Sarlat. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah you I, were the you were the guy, as I explained it. You were the guy who taught us radio, because we had been on radio shows before few and far between but yeah. we had been on and what would happen is you would go in and uh, the host or the talent was on the air and you would get met by a producer who would sit you down right and ask you to give them three questions for the host to ask yeah oh yeah could, yeah yeah he couldn't figure out <laughs> what to ask you so he would write that write those down and they would disappear and then they would come back in 20 minutes and you would go on the air and you, he would ask you the questions that were on the little piece of paper that you wrote. Yeah. And he wouldn't listen to the answers. <laughs> and then you were done in five or ten minutes. Yeah. He would be looking yeah. elsewhere at things yeah. while he, yeah. you were answering the question. Or the worst part would was... come in at 7 a.m. You started at 6 with, with Joe or, or Lori or whoever was there yeah. and did an hour. And then you had us come in at 7 Mm -hmm. And then we co-hosted the show for three hours. Yeah. So we had to learn how to, you know. How to pace yourself. You also had yeah. to learn something else, not to do material. Right. You know, right. That, that doing material only wasted your act to begin with, but that it just sounds so canned and never, never felt it f fell into the flow of the discussion. I always just tell comedians, just follow the discussion. Just throw in your... Your witticisms, but don't it's a don't conversation. Yeah, don't think about here's a joke from my act, and now I'll just drop this in here. When I had comedians who did that, I never had them back. You know, because it, I because it, I it, it because, did happen occasionally. Oh, it happened a lot. Yeah, but I mean, it 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 I the reason I never had them back was it didn't do me any good. No, and it sounded you know? weird. Yeah, but somebody like you, you come in, you just you know you you. Well, create that, jokes for that moment, you know. Speaking from the comics, yeah, uh, I say that we were getting mixed messages, not from you, yeah, but radio guys, because there were radio guys who wanted you to do material, you know, who would get angry if you tried to treat it as a conversation, because uh, yeah. afterwards, yeah. Hey, man, you're supposed to be funny. That's what I have you in here for, and so we had, you know, we had to be the servant of many masters. We had to you know adapt and but but think of all the guys that were on your show that went into radio i mean there are tons of guys and think that, and think of the, uh, think of how many of those failed at it <laughs> 
They kept other stations, because I had comedians on, their idea was, well, we'll just hire a comedian. That's the worst idea they could have. And the reason it's the worst idea they could have, number one, comedians have about 45 minutes worth of material. And then they're through, okay? Uh, They don't know how to ad lib for four hours. Okay, that's for starters. But secondly, you have a comedian bring in another comedian, that comedian who's the host is going to feel competitive towards the comedian who's the guest. Right. I never yeah. felt competitive because I wasn't a comic. Who, worry about who gets the bigger laugh. I yeah. just cared that you guys got laughs, and I sat back and got the paycheck. You know? Yeah, the show looked good. Exactly. It wasn't the Bob Rubin show with uh, with Alex Bennett on. It was the Alex Bennett show with Bob Rubin Well, who on. did they throw up against me? What's his name? Um... Bedore. Did they hire Bedore for something? No, 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 no. No, no they hired um, uh, uh, what, what, Marty, uh, Marty, uh, uh, oh. huh? Cullen? Marty Cullen. Cullen. Yeah. To go opposite okay. me over at KNEW. Yeah. Failed miserably. Okay. Just failed miserably. Uh, when I left, they had Johnny Steele do my show. Yeah, he did all right until well, he got bumped from. Uh, well, he got bumped because he wasn't doing all right. You know. No, he got he got bumped by uh, Howard. No, but he also got bumped because he wasn't. You know, they they knew he was a place filler to begin with. Uh, but uh, I mean, I heard that show. He didn't do radio very well. He didn't know how to do it. Well, Johnny doesn't have jokes. He's just a funny guy. Yeah. He, he had, he has funny bones, yeah, as yeah, you say. Yeah. Well, so I, thought, I, I, thought, I, I could go I, back to I, that whole thing and tell you how how Johnny got his job by stabbing me in the back. Ah. Ah. Yeah. I, I know that. He, he used to go into the after he was on my show, he would go into the general manager and kiss his ass for about a half hour, and then cry and weep that I was treating him badly. Oh, geez. Yeah. Until he finally got the job, and I found out he was getting the job because it turned out the guy who was my agent was his agent. At which point we told my agent, you stop being his agent, or, you know, we're taking you to court because yeah, this is yeah, Ill- totally that's totally illegal. Yeah. Who was the agent? Uh, uh, I can't, I'm trying to remember his name now. I can't remember it right now. He was, he was a radio, the only radio agent in town. And he represented me, and he got a decent amount of money, because I was making a decent amount of money. And when he saw I was going, he started representing um, uh, Johnny. Well, that's, that's wrong. You know, you don't negotiate the exit of one person and negotiate the entrance of the other. And uh, so, I mean, uh, uh, Johnny... Johnny it's, a, it's a way to keep yourself in the game. Yeah, so I have no fond feelings for Johnny. You know, because he was just a little wimpy asshole who went in every day and cried to the boss, uh, oh, he's terrible to me, and give me the job, give me the job, give me the job. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. So when it was time to go, they went and got Johnny, and Johnny didn't do very well. The ratings tanked. They just tanked terribly. Uh, uh, well, Slayton did radio. Remember, Slayton did... Well, what it was, was comedy. Uh, it was called Comedy uh, World, I think. Was what yeah, it was yeah, called. on the internet. It was just internet, wasn't the, it? Well, it was internet, but they, no, they're trying to sell it to radio stations too. They brought me in on that thing, or tried oh, to bring really? tried to bring me in on that thing. Was it he was Sue Murphy? Yeah, Sue. He was, did a show with Sue Murphy, and they were. It was out of this big, it was out of this big warehouse in L.A. that they had turned into a radio studio, and uh, uh, it. Uh, you know, I mean, it was a big operation. They got a lot of money to put that thing together. It was supposed to be 24-7 comedy, okay, on radio. Uh, to begin with, uh, you can't do it on radio because if they want to get dirty, they can't, all right? So that's for starters, okay? You can't do the blue material. So uh, they, the guy who was running it brought me down there and said, we'd like to talk to you about coming down here and being part of this. And, uh, you know... Uh, uh, they didn't want, I don't know if they wanted to give me a show or they wanted me to consult it or whatever, but they wanted me to leave San Francisco, come to L.A., and go in on this thing. And uh, um, I was at, in San Francisco at that time, I was making somewhere upwards to $400,000 a year. Jeez. Okay? And they asked me what I wanted, and I said $500,000 a year. And they said, oh, we, we don't have that kind of money. I went, well, you're paying Slayton 100000 a year. 
you know, I knew that. I said, you're playing, paying all these other comics out, and you can't pay me 500000 a year to consult and do a show when I'm the guy who knows how it's done? And they said, no. I said, well, then take it and shove it. <laughs> you know, I'll stay in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I stayed in San Francisco and got uh, fired. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they didn't fire me. They had to pay off my contract. How many years did you have left? I had about 14 months left. Ah. So they had to keep paying that 14 months. Yeah. Everybody said, what's it like to make that kind of money and, you know, you know, not have to work for it? And I said, terrible, because you're literally, it's worth it to somebody to pay you $350,000, $400,000 a year not to come in. <laughs> you know, stay away. We'll pay you this money. Just stay away. I said, it's insulting, you know. Well, when uh, Will, uh, Will, Will and Willie, uh, me and uh, Mayor Brown, when we did our little show, we did it for 11 months. Yeah. Well, uh, we actually did it for like 13 months. The first two months were just a tryout. Mm -hmm. and, and we did it for 11 months, and it was supposed to be for 13 months, so we got paid for two months to go away. Yeah, yeah. So you know how it, so you know how that one feels. Been early for two months. Actually, at a much lower scale. A story I may never have told you is uh, the reason you got to do that show was because I didn't. I turned it down. Oh really? Yes, I was brought in to uh, my friend Ed Cramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who uh, I had been fired uh, once, twice before. Wait, wait. How many times did he fired me at that point? Fired me. <laughs> he fired me okay. twice, maybe. Camel? No, he wasn't a camel. No, he was at the. At the uh, he was at. Uh, he was at um, uh, Live 105. Yeah, I guess this would be the second time if he fired me from that. But he called me. I was. I was. Where was I? I, I just went in. I went in to see him. He wanted to see me, and I was in San Francisco, and I went in to see him, and he sat down, and he said, "So listen, we're thinking of doing a morning show here, like you used to do." Do you know anybody who would want the job? He had to put it in that way because I was working for Sirius, and that would have been ah. trying to steal somebody from somebody right. else, so you put it in those terms. Yeah. And I thought about it for a second, and I went, well, um, how much money? And they, they said, um, oh, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand a year. And I said, mm-hmm. That was more than I was making it serious. But I said... My immediate response was, I'll let you know when I hear of somebody. You know, so I didn't, I didn't take him up on it and say, hey, me, me, me. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and uh, so then the next thing they did was they hired you guys, you know. Yeah. Which wasn't a bad idea. Paul Wells put that through. He put it through? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the problem is, they put us immediately out in the public. So it was a live studio audience. Yeah, maybe you weren't ready for that. At the Vitali, uh, it was in the lobby of this hotel right on the Embarcadero. Yeah. And I think that we should have gotten our chops together in a studio first and then go. Well, on. you, you at, to begin with, you don't want to do that kind of remote every day. Uh, because you ha in the studio, you have more control over the product than you yeah, do yeah. when you're out at a, at a location. Okay. Uh, I mean, we got it down pretty well when we did it, but we didn't do it every day. You know, you do it maybe once every month or something like that. Uh, you do the rest in the studio where you can control the output. So, that's just my advice, but it's a little I, late to I give totally it. agree. Yeah. And then a couple of times we had to go back into the studio, and it was a little, you know, it was noticeably tighter. Not, not like... 30% tighter, but it was, you know, like 10% tighter. Yeah. And that's a lot when you're talking about radio. I mean, I had a live studio audience, but I had them in the studios, in the but radio studios. for a while, studios. you only did it on Fridays. Well, no, no, no. I always, I always, oh, in the very beginning when I was at KMEL. Yeah. But when I went to the Quake, it was studio audience every day. Oh, but they day. were in the studios. They weren't yeah. out like at the punchline. But there was only like that. 12 seats. Uh, we had 12 seats in the studio, and then we had yeah. people be able to stand outside the studio and watch it. Sometimes we had, like, 50 people there. Man, you know. people come up to me all the time saying, I snuck out of school and went down there, 
and people are always telling me that that, that was one of the highlights yeah. that, of, of their high school or, well, or college and people yeah at at the radio station we could accommodate I think comfortably about 50 people you know uh, five we, zero huh five zero five zero yeah because we had that we had the studio and then we could yeah. open this huge window that looked on to another room where we put chairs and so we could put the rest of the people there once we got the overflow our largest overflow was a thousand I think that's there was this cool. one day when we had Jackie Chan on the same show with Tori Amos. Oh my God. And there was a line out the door of the of the building that uh, we, we they said there were close to a thousand people out there trying to get in. The other day I'm I'm trying to get rid of books. So yeah. I'm going through all my books, yeah. you know. And it's a pain in the ass. Uh, oh, I want to keep the, Oh, I want to And I came to these Stephen King paperbacks, and they were all signed, and I had like eleven of them, and I rem and then I remembered he was on your show, yeah. and I was on the show the same day, so I brought a, a Safeway uh, brown paper bag <laughs> full of paperbacks <laughs> and signed them all. Yeah, yeah. So are they worth anything? No. No. Okay. No. Because he signed tons yeah. of them in his time. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, I, I I found out that what you want is stuff that uh, n n you never expected is the stuff that's worth money. I had a, I got rid of a, my entire LP library when I left San Francisco, and I sold it off to this uh, buyer, and he would go through it and say, "This is worth so much. This is worth so much." And then I had like you know some Beatles albums that were kind of rare in that they were early editions, things like that. He said, nah, not worth anything. Everybody's got Beatle albums. But this album, by the 13th floor elevators, I can give you $300 for. Wow. So it's always a thing. You, you think that, you know, it's going to be... Uh, well, if you had the Butcher Block cover. I had the Butcher Block cover. But oh, here, really? Oh, here's the problem. What it was, it was yesterday, okay, today, and, and tomorrow, I peeled it off. Uh, I steamed it off, and I got to the butcher block on the back. Yeah, yeah. Well, then it's worth nothing if you yeah. got it with the label, with the with the cover they covered it with. Yeah. Worth a fortune. <laughs> so you know, that was one of my major collectible fuck ups. How about how about all the the shit that you used to get as swag? Did you keep all the books and and stuff? I kept a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I didn't throw it out. It's still in storage somewhere, yeah. Um, but uh, uh, best piece of swag you ever got? The best piece of swag I ever got? Gee, I don't know. I can't tell you. You know, I mean, there's just a lot of little pieces that I enjoyed having. You know. Yeah. Uh, but I. I'm, uh, well, you were always getting electronics equipment. Did well, CNET have a deal with you? No, no. I mean, uh, but uh, I'm trying to think. The swag, well, okay, the best, it isn't the best swag I ever had. It's the best swag situation I ever had. So I've got. At the Bunny I, Ranch. I, no, I'm at uh, the Quake, and, and I've got Joe Rogelski, and Rogelski is always doing jokes about truly fine ocean spray soap or something like that. Truly fine mist soap. I can't remember the name of it. And he's constantly plugging and constantly plugging it. And finally, one day, uh, uh, it, it, a box shows up, and it's, it's a giant case of this soap. And I said, is that all you have to do in order to get stuff for free, is just mention it? And Joe goes, I guess. So I said, you know, I really love those Apple computers. You know, they're really terrific computers. Okay. Next day, I get a call from my boss. There are three boxes here for you from Apple. I went, yeah. Now, we already talked to our lawyers. Since you didn't go out and try and get them, and since you're not taking anything for them, uh, you can come and get them. So I immediately rush down. I grab these boxes. They're heavy. I put them in the back of my car. I take them home, right? They're all from, they're from Apple. 
They're the Apple boxes on the outside. It says like you know Mac. You know the Mac. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. I open up the boxes. They had sent it to me from Apple. It was three boxes filled with truly fine ocean mist soap. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe that's the best swag I ever got, you know. Huh? That's hysterical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Son of a bitches. I thought I had myself a fucking computer. What was that, 90? Uh, I can't remember. I can't can't remember the time on that. Uh, But boy, that was, that was, that was something. But anyway, then, I can't, I can't, I can't remember real swag that I ever got. You know, the t-shirts and caps and... The keychains and I I had a uh, I had a cube oh I you know something I I was uh, wearing that just the other day I was wearing that very t-shirt just the other day three punchline yeah I should have worn mine today if I knew you were gonna wear it's it it's really thick it's a really yeah good yeah, t-shirt. yeah 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 okay. uh, but you're on the back am I is my name on the back of yeah. that one oh, okay. Uh, but anyway, so I, uh, uh, so so I, I can't remember the swag. The, the one piece of swag I do remember is I had, um, um, and then we'll I guess I have to close with this. I had this. Uh, I was at a, a convention once, a tech convention, and I picked up one of these things, these little squeezy balls. Yeah. Only it was a cube, okay. And I always like squeezing on it because you know they remember those. They're just great to squeeze yeah, yeah. on. And one day I'm looking at it, and this is after a whole bunch of stuff happened. I look at it, it says Enron on it. <laughs> so that became one of my favorites, you know, the <laughs> Enron the Squeezy Cube. Yeah. Debbie, Debbie and I had a gig one time uh, afterwards, met this guy who worked in advertising, and he was trying to introduce uh, Panama Cerveza as the new alternative to Corona because that's when Corona was big. Right. So we wrote a series of radio commercials for him and probably six or eight was supposed to be like a series, like a detective series, a Mm. detective in a tropical uh, climate and they were pretty funny and, but they didn't pay us but they gave us this beer. They gave us cases of Cerveza Panama. And we would come home, and there would be a case on our doorstep. They knew. So I guess whenever the distributor guy came in, they would drop a case off. We hated the beer. Hated <laughs> it. Oh, my God. We couldn't give it away. Oh, it, it was perfumey. It had this aftertaste. Oh, my living God. And we kept getting cases because <laughs> we got on the permanent list. Even long after the commercial stopped running, and they would just, and we would show up at parties, and people would go, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah." Hey, listen, we've run out of time here, oh, buddy. And just stories. And oh, we didn't, we didn't even talk about politics today, but why? I know. <laughs> <laughs> why? You know, all you say is Durst. What a uh, not Durst. Uh, t- Trump. What a douche. What a it's douche. easier to say Durst, what a douche, because the D's follow. But I it, love the alliteration. The yeah, alliteration you know works. Yeah. Hey, look, always good talking to you, my friend. Hey, Alex Bennett, you take great care, young man. I'm going to have Pat Johnson get in touch with you, and because uh, we're going to write this book, and uh, yeah, so we're going to get your, so you can see the picture. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely, the attractive, Will Durst. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And there we go. There's Will Durst. Okay. All righty. Okay. Okay. All righty. All righty. Okay. Okay. All righty. Anyway, how are you? I'm Alex Bennett. And uh, we're, uh, let me turn on the uh, Skype lines here. I am just, I've been so tired lately, I just, I don't even really, I've, I've, I'm getting to the point where I don't know whether I, I really want to do shows anymore, I'm so tired, um, and I don't know what it is, I think it's allergies, but I'm not sure, okay, what was that, uh, uh, Rin, missed call, that's from the last show, okay, let me uh, turn on the, uh, the uh, Skype lines, uh, so that people can call me. And um, 
I hope this is looking okay to you folks out there. Um, uh, I, for some reason, it seems a little, a little uh, hinky here. I don't know what the problem is, but you know, uh, I will. Uh, I will just hope that it uh, it's working okay. Um, this is. I'm, I don't know. I'm getting a little tired of the technical problems that I face all the time. Uh, here we go. First caller of the night, ladies and gentlemen. It's Phil Meyer. Uh, let's see here. I wonder if he pops up somewhere. Yeah, he automatically popped up. There we go. There Automatic fill. Huh? Automatic fill. Automatic fill, because that's the place you were in the other day. So I, I thought I was in the shit house. Huh? No. That's, the other, I thought I was in the shit house the other day. No, that's where you were the other day. Ah. That, All right. That, uh, hey, yeah. how did you enjoy your holiday? Uh, you know that holiday was there for you. I, I, yeah, right. I'm. Uh, I served in the military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and we big, honor those big, that have fallen. Big, big fucking deal. Uh, yeah. here, here comes uh, Charlie Wallace. Let's see if he automatically shows up in our panel. Uh, is he? Did he? Is he in there? Uh, the, yeah, well, there. yeah, there. Uh, there he is. Yeah, he showed up immediately. Hey. I didn't have, even have hey. to do anything. Auto Charlie. Yeah, huh? there's old Charlie. Auto Charlie. Yeah, now who was on the who was on the top the other day? I can't uh, remember who was on the top. Uh, I, I don't know. Was he? Uh, are you a top or a bottom, Charlie? I get, well, wait a minute. I, 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 I can tell you right now who was on the top. Who was on the top before? Uh, it was Josh. Yeah. 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 So he was, uh, he was on the top. So. Yeah. Now is was Josh is Josh in Ohio? Yes. Yeah. Uh, isn't Ohio having uh, extreme weather right now? Tornadoes and Dayton was ripped apart, and Kansas City, oh. which is not in Ohio, has also had uh, uh, extreme weather uh, tornadoes. Really? And and we have a caller that uh, lives in Kansas, but there's two Kansas cities. This one's Missouri. I, I don't know if he lives in yeah, the Missouri. Just right across the river from each other. Oh, really? And he, uh, the, the guy who used to call the show lives in like an eight thousand square foot house that uh, you know he bought for a hundred grand, and, uh, and and it was like uh, a, an old mansion and a whole bunch of them uh, in the area that he lives. Mm -hmm. And the TV show that I saw that was showing the tornado devastation looked like it went right down a street that had those kinds of houses on it. Uh, I hope he's all right. Well, there are a lot of houses in that part of the country that look like no, that. No, but these were big old mansions. I, I mean, you know, and he said he lived in a district uh, that that had these. It yeah. was called Millionaire's Row or something. Really? Uh, I, th mm. I think his name was Dave. Uh, he used to call the show. D he hasn't called. Yeah. You know, Dave the million. Dave the millionaire. Well, uh, Dave the guy that lives in the millionaire's house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me see here. I'm trying to. I'm trying to look. The millionaire and his wife. You know, Gilligan's Island. I'm looking for my volume here. Oh, there they are. There it is. Okay. I just want to make sure everything was fine here. Yeah. Oh, man. I've just been so tired lately. I have no idea. You know, I don't, I don't even know if I can get through the show tonight. I'm so exhausted. Yeah. I'm just tired. It, and I don't know what's causing it. I'm thinking my, one of my suspicions is, uh, 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 what do you call it, um, um, allergies. Yeah. Uh, the, Are you the, sleeping? It supposedly can make you tired. Can make you feel real tired. Well, yeah, I'm oh, sleeping. Yeah. Shit, you sh the stuff you take for the allergies make you tired. Well, yeah, that's what knocks you out. Well, I don't take anything that has uh, no Benadryl. No. no well, I, well, I took some Benadryl to put me to sleep last night, and then all day long today I was like really goofy, mm. you know, and <laughs> really tired. So I don't know. I give up. But, you know, this getting old ain't for sissies thing is true. Yeah. 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 I agree. And then when I don't have anybody calling me like tonight, when yeah, I can sit back and liver? relax while part? these people yeah. just hey, talk. Hey, Charlie, you and I, we're chopped liver. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Plus, we're getting into the hot weather, and this air conditioner isn't working that well. Mm -hmm. So i got to maybe buy a new air conditioner, but I'm, I can't decide what to get because I don't want something that's going to blow the circuits. You know? Well, complain to the landlord. Let them put it in. <laughs> what do you mean? Isn't the landlord's job to put in air conditioners? Sure, they no. provided you an apartment with an air conditioner. No, they, no, they, no, they did. The, the the guy who rented this apartment put in those air conditioners. Well, complain to him. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Like That'll like work. like yeah. he'll like he'll take my calls. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, and if you tell your attorney to call him, it'll cost more than the air conditioner. Yeah, yeah, I, I could go out and buy an air. Con- if I called him and discussed yeah. the problem, and then he took another, say he took a full hour on the project, it would cost me right. twice as much as an air conditioner would cost. That's right. <laughs> so I'm better off not calling the uh, the lawyer. Yeah, unless he wants to do a pro boner thing. You know? uh, not not to keep you cool. Hmm. Yeah. Well, anyway, I need uh, to fill so that spot up, up, up there, right there. See that, folks? Right there, that spot, right up there. I need to fill it up. Somebody call. <laughs> I know Spot is Spot Godiger, Spot uh, Scott Boddicker is out there, because he says, "Looks like Durst is using Tony's laptop." <laughs> oh, you know something? I I, many, um, I was going to mention to him to clean his lens. Yeah, it looked yeah, like his perfect. lens needed cleaning. Finally, uh, out, isn't he out in the avenues out by the fog? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was foggy. It was probably know. foggy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good excuse. Uh, but Scott's listening. Uh, who? Uh, let's see here. You hear? L- slow loading, said Al K. Why is it slow loading? What's slow loading? I have mm-hmm. no idea. He's putting it in one bullet at a time. Yeah. Right. Right. So anyways, I'm so tired, I don't even feel like doing a show tonight. I mean, I, I don't feel like doing a show ever again the way I feel today. Maybe I've got Tay-Sachs disease. What's that old Jewish disease where you're tired all the time? Uh, isn't it uh, something bar? No. Uh, well, Epstein, Epstein bar. Epstein bar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're tired all the time. L- L- and yeah. Epstein sounds like a Jew. G- yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Epstein bar. Let me see. Epstein bar. Bar. Okay. Uh, by virus, okay. Uh, 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 here are the symptoms of Epstein Barr: fatigue, yeah, yeah. I, I, fever, yeah. lack of appetite. I'm not that hungry. Rash, no. Sore throat, no. Swollen glands in the neck, no. Weakness and sore muscles, no. So I don't, I don't have. And Epstein. saying no a lot. Is, okay, is one of the <laughs> okay. How about how about Tay Sachs disease? Let me look that up. Tay Sachs is a, g- uh, a genetic thing, I think. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Tay-Sachs disease. Okay. Uh, genetics reference. It is a genetic disease. Symptoms and causes. The symptoms are loss of motor skills, <laughs> turning over. Well, maybe Trump has Tay-Sachs. Uh, 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 including turning reporter. over, crawling, and sitting up. Exaggerated reactions when the baby hears loud noises, seizures, vision, and hearing. Well, I don't have that. No, Damn it. I, I don't have that. So, so I probably diagnosed you know, with Epstein Park. Yeah. Let me see here. We just we got somebody to put in our first uh, uh, level here who is, uh, hey. let's see here, hey. Gumball. Here, here's, uh, here's Ray Gumball Renati. Renati. And, and Ray, hey, I got right through. Look at that. Ray, yeah. Ray is in the, uh, in the uh, first spot there, up, uh, up above, Woo-hoo. as he pedals yeah. along at the gym. <laughs> number one. Number one. <laughs> I am number one. Ah. I am best in the world. Yeah. Okay, so you guys talk among best. yourselves. I'm too tired. I had to do two interviews ah. today with uh, a, a interview with Durst and then two interviews with uh, Bubbles, and I was exhausted. I was just exhausted. You know? Yeah. Well, that's do a think, lot. Do you think maybe it's yeah. my cancer? Yeah. yeah. No, it's three interviews. It's tiring. No, I'm just I'm tired all the time. My eyes are tearing oh. like crazy, and I think it's pollen. I think it's allergies. Did you go well, outside? I had allergies like that a few weeks ago, and I thought I was really sick, and I went to the doctor. It turned out I had a super bad case of allergies. Yeah, and were you tired? Were you tired all the time? Exhausted. I thought yeah. I had the See, flu. See, that's what I've got. Yeah, it's horrible. I thought I had the flu. And all well, I had now I allergies. don't have to go to a doctor because you did for me. So anyway. <laughs> but I got my inhaler and Flonase and... Claritin and helped a lot. Flonase does. I have a generic Flonase. It, once a doctor gave it to me, and every month I would get it, but I never used it. And then I started using it, and it worked in the beginning, but now it doesn't work anymore. Doesn't That's what happened to me. It worked yeah. in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Flonase but is Alex, the generic. Uh, uh, this was the your, generic Flonase. Didn't your yeah. Flonase expire in 1942? You said that when you were uh, in the Navy that you were being given some sort of a, a medication and that you had them all lined up on a desk 
and and you didn't. Oh, use well, them. that was when I was in the Navy, right? And I had all these drugs lined up on my desk. No, here's what happened. It wasn't Flonase. No, right? but <laughs> no, but here's here's what happened. Um, uh, let me see if I can explain it. Uh, when you were in the Navy in those days and you felt sick, you would go to the infirmary and the infirmary immediately would give you uh, a codeine, a codeine uh, cough absolutely. syrup, right? Mm -hmm. And of course I didn't do shit, didn't matter what you had, but every time you went in, uh, listen, I've got a, my eyes are hurting, here, have some codeine, <laughs> right? They would just pass these bottles of codeine out like crazy. They didn't buy the cases down in the infirmary. So I'm such a hypochondriac that after about a month, I've got like 20 bottles of this shit, all right? And I've got it lined up along the, the wall, but it doesn't do he shit to, except get you high, right? So one time I'm putting some kind of thing up in the, in the, in the public information office where I was working on the ship because I had conned them into giving me that to do. And I, uh, I was putting, using a screwdriver, and somehow I got a blister here. And then the blister popped, and it, then it was like kind of like open, and I couldn't get it uh -uh. to close up. So I figured, well, you know, if I go down to the infirmary and I show them this, what they'll give me is just some coating and send me <laughs> back here. So why don't I cut out the middleman? I grabbed one of these bottles of coating, and I poured the thing on the blister, burned like a son of a bitch, but within an hour it was healing. <laughs> so anyway. yeah, wow. So you know what you need? What? Coding. 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 <laughs> Everyone right. needs coding. That's right. That is correct. Uh, I'm let not me supposed see to here. talk. Uh, uh, Tony's just calling here. Let's see here. We have to put him in the number four slot. Will he come up in any other slot? No, I have to put him in the number four slot. So I go to the number four slot, and I go Tony, and I put him in there. And does he pop in? Yes, he does. And we transition over to that thing. Okay. So now we have four people here. Any more takers for tonight? Uh, anyway, so I'm tired. I'm just, I, I don't know what it is. And I'm just exhausted. And, uh, you know, I've tried not to take uh, sleeping pills. I tried not to take any uh, Xanax to put me to sleep. But apparently that wasn't what was causing the problem. So mm -hmm. I may take a Xanax and I just knock myself out and not wake up all night, you know. Uh, you know, do people actually get into REM sleep when they take things like Xanax and, and so forth? I don't to... give a shit. Yeah, but you're not getting sleep. If oh, yes, getting... you are. That's bullshit. Phil, yeah. Phil the, the benzos, I had to do a lot of research. It takes about one cycle of REM sleep away at night. You lose one. Yeah. You're supposed to have like four. You end up having like three. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I, I look at my watch none. and it says, <laughs> like last night, I have this thing where I, it's called a problem called sleep. And it tells me when I, I turn it on when I go to sleep, and it tells me how I'm doing with my sleeping. And when I wake oh, up in the morning, it gives me a reading on it. And for instance, last night, I was restless for 34 minutes. That's not bad. I was restful for 7 hours and 56 minutes, and I was awake for 11 minutes. Now, if, wow. I go to, if I go to my phone, I have an additional thing because this is a slightly different one. This is automatic. Nice. And uh, what I had yesterday was uh, 8 hours and 43 minutes of restful sleep, it says here. Restless, 14 minutes. And awake, 6 minutes. You have no right to be tired. I, I barely get five hours. And, but it says here, my best sleep was from 1.27 a.m. to 3.26 a.m., so that was an hour and 59 minutes of what probably was REM sleep. Well, you get into REM sleep hey, Alex. two hours, you're a yeah. minute short. Yes, Ray. I can tell you that like when I have the allergies really bad like that, I get um, asthma, and I don't even realize I have asthma, and I have to use my inhaler, and I feel way better. It can, it, it can wipe you out, and hmm. you won't even know you have it. You should have them check you for asthma. Well, I, I, had, asthma. I had asthma when I was a kid. Yeah, but so you can ha you can still have it even though you don't seem to have symptoms. Look, the guy can and it talk can make for you really tired. Ray, Alex yeah. could talk for a half hour without taking a breath because he knows if he t I take a breath, he'll I'll interrupt him. But, uh, no, but you it's know, not that like if you have <laughs> yeah. allergies, yeah. like you're just yeah. not getting enough oxygen with each breath, and it yeah. just accumulates. Yeah. yeah. 
So yeah. anyway, if you, don't, yeah. if you don't breathe deeply, yeah. you don't get enough oxygen, mm -hmm. and then you end up uh, well, rebreathing the uh, nitrogen. Well, you can have really low-grade asthma with allergies, and it can totally wipe you out. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's what I have. I have to use my inhaler quite often. Well, where's the stuff that yeah. I have here? I, I have so I have, an inha I have some <laughs> inhalers for stuff, but... I don't feel asthma. You know, I don't feel short of breath. Well, like you, you don't yeah, necessarily I feel short of breath. Uh, yeah. I have an inhaler. You know, when I if I get a really bad uh, cold or something, they'll, they'll give you an inhaler to yeah. help you out with that. Well, this is not interesting, anybody. <laughs> uh, Fuck them. There are just 20 people watching right now. Yeah. That's the lowest we've had. Fuck all of you. I, I, you it's know. Tuesday. Huh? Maybe we it's should talk Tuesday. sports. <laughs> what? what, what uh, you, yeah, yeah. We should talk sports, right? Hey, Tony wants to talk cauliflower, right, Tony? Well, did you hear that? Did you? Hear, what did she say? That lady? Oh, uh, AOC uh, she wants so? wants to ban cauliflower. It's a it's a uh, elitist. Uh, it's not an elitist vegetable. It's a, uh, a vegetable that uh, she feels that uh, I think uh, Republicans eat. And that uh, we should be eating plantains and other <laughs> vegetables plantains, that are not racist. Plant, plantains. Because cauliflower is a racist. Uh, uh, I, I don't believe she said that. I'll send I'll it to you. The, you said uh, it to you. Well, where did you, where did you read it? You know, there's uh, a lot. Minute. There's a lot of things. I, I didn't read it. It no, was like a she video. She actually said it out loud. There's a clip. Uh, I sent it to you. Well, I just remember uh, the Republicans giving Obama grief for, for liking arugula. They did. They gave him a crap on a rainbow. Yeah. Let's see. Cauliflower. Well, Denver I'll, Bush I'll one hated Brooklyn. Uh, done. Eat whatever right. you want. Hey, Tony, why does it look like the inside link. of the Munster's look, look, house? Wait a minute. I have the video house. here. <laughs> yeah, look at the boycott flower. Okay, uh, okay, wait a minute. Uh, why is there dust let's everywhere? Let's see here. Wait a minute. Hold uh, on. These guys, this, this lens it's is very nice. I just sent it. I got a clean lady. This is, I have, wait a minute. Hold on. Everybody be quiet. Okay. Wait a minute. I, I I can't see here. Hold on. Here we go. What is this? <laughs> the rebel media. Hey, folks. We're consistently told to cut back on the meat and ramp up on the veggie consumption, right? This is supposedly better for our health, and it's even better for the environment. Mm. But if you like to chow down on cauliflower, are you a racist? Well, that seems to be what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is implying. Uh, and I'm not going to believe nope. this because it's a okay, thing called go to the, the one I sent you. The rebel .com. No, go to the one I sent you. It's Fox, but go, go to the one well, I well, sent it's you. It's Fox. Yeah, and it, but I got it through VOX. I don't know what that is. Oh. Uh, well, wait a minute. Just It's her. It's her it, on a video. Walking, it, it is her, Alex. It's legit. Yeah, it's Tuck a straight-up thing. Huh? It's not one of those Chinese bots. Where did you send it to me? Uh, Messenger. Messenger. Okay, here it is. Let me see. Oh, walking like here York. we here we go. Uh, all right. It's getting hard to keep track of all the things that are racist these days. Jefferson statues, milk, not wanting African Americans to abort their children. That's racist. Can you hear that? Now add another yeah, one to yeah. the long list. Cauliflower is racist. In a video posted on Sunday, young pioneer Alexandria hmm. Casio Cortez explained to her followers that it is deeply problematic to grow cauliflower in urban gardens. Really think about it. When someone says that it's too hard to do a green space that grows yucca instead of, I don't know, cauliflower or something, um, it, you're, what you're doing is that you're taking a colonial approach to environmentalism. And that is why a lot of communities of color get resistant to certain environmentalist movements because they come with a colonial, colonial lens on them. Okay. So you support this moron? I don't know. I what, think that I don't was know. taken out of context. I, I think, no, it was I, I, no, it was absolutely. I want to hear the whole thing. She didn't it, say it, anything it, about cauliflower. I'll, I'll send it to you, right? No, she didn't say anything. I want, about no, I want to hear that. I just, I just, I just, I just played the thing you sent. No, no, no. I, I just played the thing you sent, Phil. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I heard it. Tony heard it. They didn't. You run, they didn't just have a no, 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 no. What is that? No, you're watching Tucker Carlson's edited version of that. 
and you don't hear the full right. context of it. Yes, watch the whole thing. Yeah, they would I never think... doctor a video. No. He was talking no. rhetorically anyway if it was real. Yeah. You uh, never said anything about cauliflower being racist. God. Yeah, she said it was uh, no. colonial. Uh... No, 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 that she didn't say it was racist. She said it was a colonial envi uh, idea of something that was good and that it was environmentally correct, but there are other things that are more environmentally correct. That's what she was saying. I, I didn't, I didn't You're hear full a, I didn't of hear shit. You know, you just don't like this She woman. said that, you know, they should grow yucca. Yucca. I don't know what yucca is. Yucca. And, yucca. And, and plantains. And, uh, plantains. And kind of, plantains. Yeah, whatever. I'm having no, a head. Her point was that they could grow She's them. Oh, never mind. <laughs> It's taken out of context. Yeah. She was speaking rhetorically, and I bet if you heard the whole thing, that's not what you would hear. She's a moron. No, she's not. No, she's not. No, she's, she's not. extremely she's intelligent. Hell a lot smarter than and, Trump. Yeah. and she's hot. That may be true, but if 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 you you got to knock her out first before you screw her, because if she opens her well, mouth, I think she's you'll lose I her think heart. she's very intelligent. Oh, you got to be kidding! I think she's, she's very, very intelligent. intelligent. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, what do you, you what do you know about oh intelligence? You believe in Donald Trump, the draft <laughs> dodger. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You guys an idiot. He, you know, he was a draft dodger. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. No, he got out of it the way he yes, got out of it. He pay, his father paid for a doctor to say he had bone spurs. Well, isn't that wonderful? I didn't Well, that's called draft time. dodging in my book. No, it was called protesting the war, which is what we all oh, did. Well. He you wasn't know? protesting shit. He was trying to yeah. keep his ass from getting shot. Nah, he was pro he, You think that he was going to end up in a place where he'd get shot? No, because he's a coward. Nah, just, he, even, he, even he, if he yeah. went in, they weren't going to, you know, he wouldn't have seen any action. Well, I he wouldn't have seen In the typewriter pool or, you know. Oh, really? I, I How are you so sure of that? Way. Well, uh, you know, he had, uh, because he had previous... Uh, military experience while going to school. Yeah, he played. So with you know, the yeah. military would never have used somebody that had some experience Ray, and knowledge. Is, Ray, is there a reason why we've lost your picture? And he what muted is, himself. Ray, are you there? Maybe he got told to uh, there. I'm there. Here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, I'm here. Don't I'm here. do that because what uh, I get uh, is a goddamn uh, Skype logo, uh, and I don't uh, like uh, Skype to get uh, any free publicity. No, I'm sorry. I think. I'm sorry. I just was looking because I just do not believe what I just heard is completely true. I think that 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 video was taken out of context and it was cut and edited in such a way to make her look. Yeah. I want to hear the whole thing. The same well, way. I sent you what the I same had. way they tried yeah, to make to the they tried thing. to make no, Nancy yeah, Pelosi like they tried to make Nancy Pelosi sound yeah. drunk last week. Yeah. And then, oh, and, yeah, and, and she they do the same thing to Trump. She's tipping oh, her bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. He does it to himself. I used to do it as a joke. We used to do it on our show as a joke to, uh, with Obama. The slow, you take anybody and you slow them down, and then you raise the pitch so the voice is pitched the same way. Uh, mm -hmm. It sounds like you're drunk. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, Trump, and Trump put that out there saying, look, see, she isn't well. On Twitter. Yeah, on Twitter. <laughs> I think he retweeted it. Such an asshole. He, yeah, he, and you know, I mean, it's easy to be asshole. conned on this Twitter and all of that stuff. Oh God! Uh, you know, cool. to retweet, th retweet, things. retweet. Always the apologist for the asshole idiot in the uh, office. Not really. Yeah, you are. No, you do. No. You constantly he, apologize. You know, for him. I, I see everybody uh, on uh, Facebook and so forth calling the guy names, but you know he what? He is an asshole. Well, he calls I, people names all the time. Yeah, he does. So? Every day. You well, call I'll me call names, so I call you names. Oh, you sound just like him. Good imitation. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm from New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sticks and stones we'll may break their bones. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, Alex had to take a whiz. <laughs> he should have taken a camera. That's when you get old. Yeah. <laughs> you can't breathe. Your eyes yeah. water, and you got to take a leak every 10 minutes. Can't wait. <clears throat> yeah. Can't well, wait. I'm doing better. They ripped out my prostate, and uh, now there I can wait about 20 minutes to take a leak. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, you well, lucky. I have to get up four or five times a night. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, John's fish. Nothing's changed. Hey, welcome back. Well, nobody saw me go. 
Tony, she, Tony why she, does it look like there's smoke in your house? It's the bad lighting. You know why she? Oh yeah, it's the lighting. It's, Tony, it's the lighting. I got a cleaning. I the camera off. I almost fired. I bet. I bet you could clean your lens right now, and it would look better. I bet. I bet if you cleaned your lens right now, it would look better. Oh, yeah. Alex, you almost fired the Irish yeah, and also, what, what are you doing? Are you using your <laughs> finger? Oh, now God. look, it's all <laughs> smudge. I just put more oils on it. Boy. What, what does he do? Put Crisco on it? Huh? <laughs> put Crisco on it? Uh, What's that filter that people use at, at weddings and so forth? To, hey, uh, it's over! Yeah. Yay. Yay. Wait hey, a minute. Hold on a second. Is that any Prince Albert in the can? Hey, guys. Hey, man. Here comes Albert. Wait a minute. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Albert Reynoso. Where is he? I still don't know how to use Skype. I don't know what I'm looking at. I, oh, I see Phil. I see Tony. Tony's got to pan his camera a little, little on there. Yeah, did he pull, clean, pull, did yeah, he clean that, his no, camera? More. Did he clean his camera? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Oh, yeah, it looks better. Yeah, 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 yeah. cleaned it with a dirty rag. Yeah. <laughs> how does your camera get dirty like that? That's so weird. And he I've cleaned it three days ago. Yeah. Well, the KY jelly gets on it when he closes it. Uh, it's a tough room tonight. <laughs> so how have you hey, been? How have you how, been? How was that uh, WPLJ thing? For some, it was good. For others, not so good. Yeah. Over here. That's all I'll say. I'm okay. I, I was his plus one. Yeah. Yeah. You were my plus one. <laughs> If if I had a plus one, I, I'd have brought Scott Shannon with me. <laughs> no, but he had a, he had a, he, he was he had an invite to the party. Didn't That's he? right. He got an invite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what are you talking about tonight? Nothing in particular. I've got a headache. That's why I went out to the other room to get two aspirin. Oh, oh okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm hey, still... if you want to relax, let Albert do the show. Oh no, just sit back. No, I've been I've been I've been hitting my medicine a little tonight, so. Uh, ah. Oh, uh, he yeah, but he has a license to medicate. I do. I yes. absolutely do. No yeah. question about it. That's, that's you're, you're, you're not in New York, right? You're oh, down no. in Florida. No. Oh, yeah, I'm down in Florida now. Is it legal in Florida? Uh, if you have a medical uh, uh, a prescription, yeah, sure. All right. And I have in Arizona prescription. Yeah. Bill I have here it's fun time. Medical prescription. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's that's great. Uh, now, do they have stores set up like they do in California? Dispensaries, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's and it and, and I I haven't I can't remember the last time I bought any marijuana. Yeah. If if I if I have, uh, <laughs> but it's it's easily as uh, as good a value at the dispensary as anywhere you can get it. So if you go to the and dispensary, is it all old Jewish people saying, "Well, there's my this. You got a discount for seniors." You know, you're not far off from that, because it's, yeah. it's all, uh, I guess, uh, people over 45, I think, yeah. and uh, yeah, pretty pretty much uh, uh, people from New York who came down from New York and are are using it now for instead of whatever they were using before. Yeah, yeah. we've just sure. been uh, been joined by uh, Patrick here. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me show everybody. There's Patrick. Hello, Patrick. How are you this evening? I am just super fancy wonderful. Just super fancy wonderful. And look who's joined us tonight here. I, yeah, I have a heart on now. <laughs> Show it to us. <laughs> uh, there it is. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, where did Tony go? I'm a little scared for him now. Uh, he, we, oh. Oh, uh, he's dusting oh, off his he's, mom. He's, he's uh. I think he's murdering his mom. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's preserving her. And, and look, clo look closely at those curtains. Yeah, he's <laughs> changing the formaldehyde and the wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that's, we should all do? Nice. Everybody, click on your thing to take that as a picture, and then use it as your screensaver, oh. or, or, or your backdrop. <laughs> or I should photo do that, take that off of there, and then use it as the background for the citizen panel. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Better do it now before he comes back in the shot. <laughs> That'll be really be scary. Yeah. Now, uh, but but uh, Albert was up here till Sunday, and uh, he was going to be on the show what on Friday, but you got yes. all involved with your your uh, your uh, 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 
My was, daughter. We, could you call her your daughter, right? Yeah, she's my daughter. She's not, re but she's not your daughter by blood. She's your daughter. Not by fucking, no. No, oh, God. <laughs> not by that. Whoa, God. I mean, Does not what, carry his DNA. I want to use the words. Go ahead. You're not her <laughs> biological father. You're her. Right. Uh, right. You're, 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 um, I'm, I'm the father by marriage to her mother. Yes. So, uh, stepfather, a stupid, a stupid And term. she's a, she's a great kid, too. That's what's wonderful about it. One of the best. Yeah, yes. Really? She's terrific. Now she is. Yeah. Four. Uh-uh. When, oh, oh. when she was 16, 14, 15, 16, what a horror Did show. Did you know her at that age? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? She was a horror yeah. show, huh? Oh, terrible. Terrible. Well, but I, she's, a, she's, a, she's a lovely individual now. Well, One I, of the, we, we all become lovely individuals, you know. Yeah, but you don't know this level of horror show that she was. Yeah, we but, weren't all that. None of I don't think any of us were that. I'm, or maybe every girl, every girl who has a mother, every girl in the teen years who has a mother living with them. Maybe it works like that, but I have a feeling uh, it does. Uh, you're pr you're probably right. So, yeah, she was here Friday, so we went to dinner, and I thought we'd be done in a few hours, but mm -hmm. it went on way way beyond the time that I thought. So, if anybody's waiting for me, I. For some family, reason, family first all the time. For some reason, we're Very not nice. broadcasting now. It doesn't look like. Oh, no, we are. We no, are. We are. For some reason, I can't. Uh, I can't get a uh, signal on on this part of uh, it. This is, well, unless, this, is, this is thirty seconds old. But no, uh, no, no. But I'm I'm having problems with uh, uh, Bolo Bennett uh, dot com live whatever. Albert, here. can you fix it? No. <laughs> I barely got on this thing myself. I don't know how to do anything anymore. Yeah. Plus, see. I'm a little stoned. There so. we go. Yeah, I got it. It, <laughs> it went to the wrong thing. There we go. But if I do, I wouldn't be able to do it right. Yeah. Looks fine. Okay. Anyway. That's what happens when you're doing the show. I can't just only do the show. And, and moderate it. I have to also switch the switcher and do all that bullshit. So, you know. We'll get That's it right. Too cheap to get an assistant. So tell them what you've been I, doing I, with your. I'd rather die on Everest than die on this show. <laughs> <laughs> we do every night. You know why people? Four are, nights a week. You know why people are dying on Everest? Because it's such a traffic jam. Yeah. That they're running out of oxygen. Yeah. You know, and then they die. <laughs> or they're, they're just stupid. <laughs> it looks, but it looked like you know, if you looked at these pictures of people going up to the top of Everest, it looked like. Uh, Oh, I don't know. Uh, Black Th Friday at uh, at Best Buy. This know? is the problem. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, you know, as a scuba diver, I know from oxygen and and breathing under pressure. And even though you know when you're ten thousand feet, twenty thousand feet, there's still uh, there's still pressure that uh, is exerted on the uh, amount of air and the oxygen mix. And if you have too much oxygen. Uh, you know, you get something called oxygen toxicity, and you'll and you'll blank out. You'll, I said uh, they're running out of oxygen, not that they yes. have too much well, it of does, it. Yeah, but you you black out uh, if you have too much, and and too little. You know, if if you don't have, they have tanks. They have these things. What do they, they can, have? What do they what do they call? Tanks. You're welcome. Tanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no, but uh, you know, I used to. You I always fall for that one, air. by the way. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I dive alone... We don't, don't give a shit problem. about you diving. We're talking no. about people completely know, at I, the it, other it's, end it's of the earth. The air. Air. It, it's about eight inches long, and it has a little mouthpiece. And yeah, if you well, that's my air, dick. Oxygen. Okay, now that you're, talk, now you're talking about my dick. <laughs> yeah, look at, look at Patrick. No, that's uh, Patrick's look, talking about your dick. Uh, uh, look at Patrick. Look at Patrick. Do that again, Patrick, so they can see what you You have one problem. Where's the tweezers? How are you going to find it? Oh boy, this is what I have to put up with, Albert. Yeah, yeah, that's what you have to put up with. Yes, yeah, that's what, that's the reason he only calls once a year. You know. Hey, I come to visit. What are you talking about? Yeah, you come to visit. Yeah. Yeah. You just come for my Snapple. Is what you come for? I I just come for your uh, new TV. It's a new TV every time I go there. Yeah, yeah. You've got a nice, beautiful uh, uh, yeah. TV hanging in the living room. That's now. the cheap one. That's the one I suggest everybody buy. If you want a 4K that looks terrific 
and has a, a Roku built into it, for $369, you can buy a TCL 55-inch. It was cheaper than that when we looked online. Was it's it? Oh, yeah, it had gone down to 200 uh, 300 yeah, It's gotten ripped off. Yeah, 299 right. Yeah. Uh, Patrick's got his hand. Yes, Patrick. Um, I saved that as a screenshot, as you suggested. Mm-hmm. Fuck, <laughs> it's that hideous on my computer. <laughs> Did it melt your screen? It is fucking hideous. We're talking, we're talking, Tony, about your 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 background. God. Oh, it's the wallpaper. Yeah, we want to take a photograph of that and use and it the as the background <laughs> here on, on the. Tony, huh? see if you can take your computer and point it completely at the wallpaper so that they can all get a photograph of it and use it for right. wallpaper on their computer. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's oh, a curtain. Right. There that, we go. I'm a little humble. Uh, uh, what's uh, that? that? Oh, you got to get the curtains in there, though, too, Tony. You, you got to get the curtains in there. I think you should just get a shot of the curtains. You want to see the that, neighbors? That's the, that's the, the background. Super, uh, little, yeah, a little, little more to the left. Well, Tony, stay on the curtains for those who want the curtains. Stay and then a little more to the left. This is like 1977 here, Albert. Look at this. No, it's curtain. like 1957, Tony. <laughs> You're right. It's like 1957 in North. Griffith at Wait Denver. a minute. Hold on a second. I'm going to get this so we can get the whole screen with uh, Tony's uh, she loves background. Her okay. Can anybody do something with that? There we go. Well, there's the. She's there's so the, flat. Don't move the it around, Tony. There's the curtains. Show the wallpaper. The this wallpaper. is particularly oh, hideous. The oh, there we go. Two oh, shades. look at that. <laughs> We didn't know which straight way to on, get Straight on, straight on, Tony, straight on. Yeah. Back up a little bit so we can get a nice, nice... Yeah, oh. that's the shot. Oh. Uh, left to that the left just a little. Got something, oh. isn't it? Just to the left. Now, there, the there, everybody, is your new wallpaper for your computer. <laughs> <laughs> it's hideous. Me and my brother make fun of it. Yeah, yeah. But listen, I don't want to suggest a, that this is going to happen to your mother, but when she dies... Not too soon, though, Alex. Uh, I need uh, uh, yeah, because then you'd be unemployed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But not too soon. But when she dies, uh, immediately get rid of that fucking wallpaper. Hey, okay. Tony, if she dies, do you have to tell the government that's paying you to take care of her <laughs> yeah, not, that she has died? Dead. She's doing really good, though, right now. She got a clean <laughs> CT scan. She just had a pudding for dessert. Yeah. She Ooh, better pudding. make it in eight months. If I don't get 32 weeks, I'm on the street. Albert's smoking dope. He wants pudding. Tony, I'm begging you, put the camera back on you. Okay. <laughs> stone. And you, that's how bad that wallpaper is. Please get soon. And you know what she thinks, Albert? She thinks it's good. Yeah. My brother wants to rip it down. Well, that's, but it was good at one point. That's why. Listen, yeah, I have an bad. idea. I have an idea, Tony. This is just an We're idea. Modern. She's still. I know that 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 although you love your mother, her I passing do. would give you a great deal of relief. Except you would then not be making money for taking care of yeah. her. So just do what has been done in the past in various movies, stuff her. Can I get away with it? You think, how long would the government <laughs> <laughs> Tony, 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 it's called 1,000 by proxy. Take it to a taxidermist. Yeah. Maybe I can make a deal with the, with the funeral director. Listen, let's not say she's gone. We'll just bury her and wait about five years until I'm ready to move. <laughs> this is a morbid crowd. Yeah. I'm joking. Wow. I don't wanna... But the viewership has gone mind. up. She's watching the Met game in the back. Like she's I, got I want to tell you something, yeah, folks. The, 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 the viewership has gone up. And if you don't, don't believe me, the reason it went up was we were showing wallpaper. <laughs> well, they're probably like, oh, my I God. I mean, that's nothing to be proud of. You know, we have a nice discussion about interesting things. You get nobody. Tony puts his wallpaper on, yeah. and you get viewers. Well, yeah. just, you know, well, listen, listen, you're proud of it. It's possible the cats are over on the internet now. Wallpaper could be the thing. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody even have wallpaper anymore, other than me? You think? Sure, buddy. No, uh -huh. but she's got paneling in the other room. It's, my brother's like, it's crazy. It used to be well, watching like paint dry. Now it's watching wallpaper peel. Now we begin to understand exactly why Tony is the way Tony is. It's she that fucking crazy. wallpaper like paneling in the other yeah. room. Yeah. It's driving him crazy. Hey, I, Alex, it can't, it can't be the wallpaper because they didn't let him out of the basement until uh, his father passed away. You know? Yeah. So. Father, you got to take care of it now. Thanks, Dad. By the way, uh, Albert. Yes? I have you to thank for Tony. 
Well, well I, don't, I don't get well, that. Well, do you remember my party? Yes, I remember your party. And you remember oh, who invited yeah. him to my party? <laughs> no, well, <laughs> no, under a condition, I said you should invite him to, a par to the party. Oh, yes, I was supposed to come up with... You never met that condition. I so never met the condition. Yeah, you, you invited him have... without the condition being met, so it's your fault. Did I invite him? Yeah, but him? Albert... He still hasn't given back the silverware. I don't. That's not my problem. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I took half the silverware myself. <laughs> oh, so that's where the other half went. That's right. I got the forks and knives. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, Tony got the pickle forks. Yeah, yeah and the spoons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, because uh, he was at my uh, party we had for this apartment. It was a housewarming. Mm -hmm. Little did we realize what kind of a housewarming it was going to wind up being in the end, but. Uh, you know, it's we, best to, we lucky you. Well, I, I know you have your problems. <laughs> I'm. I've been. We've it's been. Uh, what, what's the term? We're, we're squatters. Mm. But not for your fault, Alex. It just worked out that way for you. You were a victim. I was a victim. That's... Yes, I am a victim. I'll be it's... your lawyer. You're a victim. You would you all like, Democrats. I, 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 I'm a victim with well. the touch of the cancer. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, thank God, not too bad, though. Touch. Remember who said that? Up? I got to touch. Mike, can you also move your camera so your head is a little bit more towards oh. the top of the frame? Sorry, is that okay? Because you always look like a little no, more. no, no, more, more, yeah, more. Uh, there we it. go. That's there it. we That's go. It. Because I'm you always confused. look like no you always look like Kilroy no, was here. here. You know, That's he adjusts it and then he slumps down a little more yeah, and yeah. then he slumps down a little more. That's the problem. Yeah, oh, that's a, yeah. my mother's got called a schlump. Now. Hey, now that's a nice <laughs> microphone you've got there, Albert. Oh yeah. Do what, you like it? What kind of microphone is it? That is a uh, Heil uh, P4, I think. Veil your papers. Heil. I have my papers here for the Heil. <laughs> it's a Heil Hitler. Is yeah. my mic yes, plug? Yes, Patrick. What Patrick? Nah, it's uh, Pat overexposed. Patrick had something he wanted to say. Much yes, Patrick. It's overexposed. Wait, hold on a yeah. second. Patrick wants to talk. Yeah. Oh, I heard Heil, so I, I salute it. Oh, I, I see. I thought you wanted to <laughs> I say I thought that something. was your dick coming up hard again. <laughs> well, I, well, how do you set it, it's gonna. <laughs> Ray, did you have your hand up, or are you, are you going uh, anti-Jew also? I'm going to show this to Alex. <laughs> I, I was just highlighting. Wait a minute. Hold, oh, okay. Hold on a second. Everybody be quiet. You're going to show me something, are you, Albert? Uh, do you see my... It, it, almost, oh, it's don't, still don't, a little don't, overexposed. Don't talk, Phil. Otherwise, we can't see him. Oh, okay. There you go. That's good. Uh, yeah, but you got to talk. You got to say WPLJ something. WPLJ ninety. You have to say something, Albert, right. so that the camera will go to you. Al I, I said, uh, Phil got it. He saw what it said on it. Okay, but now lift it and show everybody else because we couldn't see it because you weren't oh. talking, and so therefore this thing is uh, is activated. Hold on. They try to take it off. My Alex has got it. No, no, you don't have to. But Alex has got it set up to when you speak, you become the large picture, uh, and uh, no, you, so you, you'll Tell speak and then show the flag. Okay. Large picture. I yeah. should always be a large picture, shouldn't I? Yeah. Can you see it yeah. now? Well, no. Oh, there now we go. We can. Wow. There we go. Yeah. Oh, you can wow. definitely see it. That's, I'll keep talking. This is so the WPLJ flag. But do you remember this flag? Uh, uh, do you remember this flag? Yes. I remember that flag. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I gotta. I gotta go back here, so I can show people. This is the flag we have on our uh, microphone here, and you made this up yeah. for the TV show, right? That's right. Yeah. What's the flag so under? Kicked us out the door. I had a maid. Where did you go? Oh well, yeah, but what, 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 what's underneath uh, all this artwork? Does it say like Sirius XM? It's, it's Sirius XM. Uh, <laughs> I think. Oh well, we got something out of that place, didn't we? Huh? Uh, now, That's, Alex, uh, it, uh, Albert, when you got that flag, did you get it in the day or? Or were they uh, party favors that they were handing out? In no, the, no, no, no. This, this is this is original. The party. This is when this is when the station left Sixth uh, Avenue, and went to Penn Station. Mm -hmm. They got you know there was a lot of stuff from the studios, and they built new studios, so they didn't need, need the old stuff. And I I just happened upon a mic flag mm -hmm. from the uh, New York's best rock days, official. No. Okay, so that's a nice flag to have. Yes, that's why I put it there. It it meant something to me. I got a, I have a lot of serious flags, but uh, I don't. I'm not going to display them anywhere. I wouldn't even wear. You know, I had how many T-shirts from Sirius? How many caps from Sirius? Mm -hmm. I refused to wear them. 
Oh, I wear my sweatshirt. Do it's you a good sweatshirt. sweatshirt. Really? Patrick has something to say. I, uh, yes, Patrick. Yes. Yeah. I'm, well, I just got my new car last week. Yes. And I've got my sixth month free of Sirius. Mm -hmm. I have to, to turn it on yet. Fuck Sirius. Good for you. I, I, ju I just bought tr uh, 12 months for 60 bucks. Fuck you. Uh, Fuck you. <laughs> I wouldn't even give them that. I waited five years. I mourned your, your passing for five years. And, you know, I mean, how long are you going to sit shiver for a guy? Uh, I'd and, say and the <laughs> rest of your fucking life rather than give those measly fuckers any money. Yeah. Bay Area Radio sucks. Oh, I, I couldn't stand it anymore. You uh, better come to sit in New York. Now he wants. Now he wants. Now now he wants to do two things, to be uh, uh, to be a traitor. He wants to listen to Sirius, and he'd like San Francisco Bay Area Radio back. You can't <laughs> listen to either of them, okay? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. It's uh, the San Francisco radio is gone. You know, it's well, all radio's gone. You know. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, we went to that, that uh, PLJ thing, and I was saying, what are they mourning? The passing of a call letter? Now, yeah. oh, By the way, by the way, a... did I hear this? Wait a minute. Did I hear this, yeah. Albert, correctly, that the, um, um, uh, what do you call it? That the, the call, they're going to keep the call letters? Now that's the latest. That's, that's, that's what I read in several places that the the Christian uh, love song station is going to keep the WPLJ call letters. So does that we mean they that... want their flag back? <laughs> no, no, no. I think they they keep the current flags is the is the way it's done legally. Yeah. Uh, any old flags can go where they can go. Yeah, but it, it, does this mean that really WPLJ isn't going away? I mean, just the because it's go not going away in New York, just because it's going to religious doesn't mean the WPLJ is going away. No, it's Does that not. mean the new flags have a St. Christopher on it? They <laughs> could. They could have a rosary. They it could it could uh, have yeah. St. Peter, St. Paul, name it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but they were going to change the call letters, weren't they, at one point, and then they decided not to? You mean the Christian people? The, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure they did. I think it's a mistake to change the call letters, especially in the beginning, because if people uh, uh, if you have diary recognition somewhere or, or they need uh, to make a mention of. Are there diaries anymore, though? I don't think yeah, I don't, there are. I don't think uh, there, besides the people meter. Really? There they has, still are there doing diaries? Diary to supplement. Yeah. yeah. What they used to do in case people don't know what we're talking about, they. Um, uh, they used to have people write in diaries what they listened to, which wasn't very accurate. And then they went to the people meters, where people have a, a, a kind of like a beeper that they've it's like got. A pager, yeah. yeah, and every time they change the station, it, it rec records what station they're listening to, which is far or more they accurate. Go into the store with the station; it'll mm -hmm. record that too. As long as you're listening to something. Yeah. 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 I had a people meter. So what are they going to just? Play I got a diary things? once. What did you say, Tony? Are they just going to play Christian music? Yeah, I guess. Here's here's the thing that... Uh, Ron Christian did, did I soldiers. mention this to you, Albert, that the wonderful thing about my curse as a human being is that I worked at WMCA, and what did WMCA become? I don't know. You see, everybody forgot, because it's still there. It, I don't it, know. It's a Christian radio station. Oh, is it? Yes, what and was, then I worked at WPLA, it was, PLJ, and what's it going to be? A Christian Christians. radio station. So I must be some kind of demon or something that carries a curse with me. Yeah, right. You the Sirius and they got the the Catholic channel. Yeah. yeah. You know, Wait, talking about yeah. Sirius, I got yeah. a, a list of stations and said, you know, click on, it was an email, and they said, you know, check out what you like, and they'll send you a different feed, I guess. Uh, now, what station number was your show? I don't oh, remember sure. now. Albert. Albert probably remembers. Was it 128 or something? I, it was 127. I think it was 127. Yeah. Well, Joel Olstein is 128. Uh-oh. So, so, that's definitive proof now, Alex. Yes. Yeah, it's Joel Osteen. Whatever. Well, no, <laughs> stop pronouncing things correctly. Quit sounding like a Why? fucking moron like your idol, okay? <laughs> Right. Jeez, just, you know, he's starting to look like Rush Limbaugh, too. Who? Uh, who <laughs> Phil? Phil. Yeah. Uh, I, I got to lose weight. 
Yeah. yeah. How's that diet going for you? That fucking, uh, what is it? The uh, keto? Uh, the keto diet. Oh, yeah, where they mail them the food, remember? Yeah, uh, I, I have been cheating a lot. Well, you, you think you're doing the keto diet, but you're doing the keto diet, which is a Japanese diet from a city in Japan. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, no, I, I have the keto diet augmented with ice cream. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dittos, Phil, dittos. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that Rush will like you. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Leaks is not Oxycontin in ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but anyway, so I, mean, I just, you know, everybody mourning the passing of a radio station that was never the same way in any particular decade. You know, they kept changing their formats. Nobody ever said it went away. And so if it's going to a Christian format, I guess it, as long as it's still called WPLJ, what's to mourn? You know? But I don't think, if you're if you, referencing the party that they helped, I don't think that was a mourning event at all. I think it was just a, 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 a gathering of people who have been there through this long legacy station. And, yeah, the ratings haven't been like they were in the uh, 70s or 80s for a long time, but people still know the call letters for some reason. Alex that, showed us, was. Albert, Alex showed us a video of the party and it was, it was an Irish wake, you know, <laughs> they're all getting drunk. They I had know, drink I, tickets. I, I, I know. I, I was standing there drunk for a long time. And, yeah, and yeah my, my uh, credit card receipt is good proof of that. I'm sorry I didn't will <laughs> my, uh, my uh, drink ticket to drink you. Ticket? I should have no, known yeah. before he, I left. He I, left it. He didn't give me his fucking drink tiff I ticket. I should have said, here's my drink ticket. And I don't think in those terms. Well, yeah, I do. Don't you know? It was swag. I, I I know you do. Oh, you thought it was swag. <laughs> uh, you you came back pretty much five sheets to the wind from that thing. Now, what uh, night did you come back that you were really drunk, though? That was my first night there. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. went to my I went to my favorite bar. Yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah. And uh, just to see my my favorite bartender. She's a sweet girl, Colby, mm -hmm. and um, she was there. And mm -hmm. I said, well, then then give me a cheap a cheap beer and a and a. Uh, packet of peanuts uh, they have warm peanuts for free there give me a, a, a bowl of peanuts so she did and i'm sitting there just enjoying it just kind of looking around contemplating and some guy is sitting with two other guys having a good time and one of the guys taps me on the shoulder and says could you excuse me could you tell me where there are some good dive bars in the area i said my friend you're in it this is this is it if I'm here, it's it's a great dive bar. <laughs> right. I hope some others. And it, it, it turns out that it was uh, two guys from England in their 30s or so who had brought their father over from England for his first time visiting New York, 70 years old. And it started great conversation. I made fun of them as English people. They made fun of me as being American. It was a great time. We exchanged I don't know how many beers and shots by the time I walked out of there, I was mm -hmm. in bad shape. So what did I do? I was headed to my uh, good friend Alex's house, and uh, I said, no, I can't go in like that. So I went to another bar and had some more beers. <laughs> <laughs> but this bar gave you – it's a bar in Brooklyn that gives you a free pizza with every beer. So I said, I, I'm at least, at least getting some food to eat here, so I'll sober up. It's not a, a whole bit. pizza. It's a piece of pizza. No, it's a whole pizza. A whole pizza with every beer? one. Huh? But it's a, whole a personal pizza. pizza. Oh, personal, personal pizza, yeah. It's really good, though. Very good. But every Alex, talk about uh, war, uh, free nuts. Uh, Max's Kansas City used to have some sort of uh, nut or, or something yeah, that they was, uh, put was, on uh, every table. Was, what do you remember the, what they were? They were the beans. Uh, the, uh, 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 garbanzo beans. Gar or no, something. they weren't garbanzos. They were what garbanzos are when they get hard. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the motto yeah, I, for Max's Kansas City was steaks, chops, and chickpeas. Yeah. Yeah. And so how free. I can't remember the steakhouse he used to go to in San Francisco. I, I, do, uh, for you, a week you, I was there. We couldn't figure this out. the steakhouse I used to go to that was in the, vill in the, uh, in the marina? Oh, God. That had to be uh, Izzy's. Izzy's. Yes, that's it. <laughs> right off Chestnut. Uh, Izzy's. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I should have remembered because it was named after Izzy Gomez. Who used to run yeah. a speakeasy in San Francisco, hmm. and uh, this bar, this place had the greatest steaks. I'm telling you, I I had great steaks there. I had one with you one time. Yeah, they had a blackened fillet that was just to die they, for. They and have 
they have a display of all these mustards there. Uh, the, the wall has uh, every kind of mustard, and you can take those mustards and use them on well, your meal. Well, you could. Meal. The place is closed. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I like Ruth's Chris. Well, <laughs> well you would. With Ruth's Chris. Yeah. Huh? What, what else? I, I said you can't go wrong with Ruth's Chris. That's right. You know, and no matter where you are, it's like the McDonald's of steaks, but Steak you know, of good steaks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anywhere you go, you're going to get the same same steak. Is these steaks yeah. in shops? Wait a minute. Marina. There's one in Marin. Wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. Uh, you can order it from Gr Grubhub. Oh, you, yeah, like they're going to deliver for 50 cents more to you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Where are you? you know, I'm in Harlem. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll be there in an hour. <laughs> it looks like it may have moved. Uh, uh, no, there's no, one in on Marin. Steiner Street. It's on Steiner Street. Yeah, yeah, that's it's the still, same one. It's still open. Yeah, the it's, health department hasn't closed it yet. It's still <laughs> open. I should well, what made you think it was closed? Because I'd heard it had closed. He hasn't been there in a while. Well, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> been there in a while, so they they should have gone out of business. Right. You know, but uh, <laughs> they didn't. So, you know, but yeah. uh, I, I'm, uh, next week I'm going to a place on Chestnut called Bobo's. Uh, it's supposed to be a great steakhouse. Well, I go to a place down in the village called Bobo's. Uh, yeah. Which was owned, uh, oh, the child molester guy? It was owned by... Uh, no, no, no child. That's it. Uh, to <laughs> begin with, or the, let's get know, this the, straight. The Me Too guy. Uh, Me Too guy. No, what's his name? Uh, uh, Mario Batali Mario. was not a child molester. Ah, well, he's Republican. He's embellishing. He's embellishing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He grabbed him by the pussy. That's I, right. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, um, um, it, but he, that was, um, that was something, you know, uh, it was a good restaurant, Babos, but it's also on, they, Batali had to sell out, uh, because they kicked him out of there, out of all his restaurants in Italy, which was another money-making proposition for him, and, but it's owned by the, uh, by the Bastianich family, and some investors, you know. So, uh, and it's a great restaurant, a wonderful restaurant. We love going. Any of those investors have a no neck? <laughs> and, a, and a, you know, a nose like that? Why yeah. are you making Italian mob jokes when I'm talking about Mario Batali? Well, hey, uh, Guido <laughs> over here on the, uh, <laughs> he, gives, he gives me the finger. Hey, you, you know, I, I, got a, I got a deal you can't refuse, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, back to Tony's uh, wallpaper. No, because um, that was getting us some Still good numbers it. here, talking about his wallpaper. Uh, I, I thought it was talking about killing his mother was getting you the vision. She's well, watching the dog. <laughs> That's, I think she's out. It, it, yeah. 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 Well. Yeah. You, you believe it. She's asleep. I may be able to have it. Once she goes, I may have a job for you taking care of me, Tony. You know, I'll take the rate I'm going. <laughs> Yeah, you got to you got you got the lot cream. You rub the feet. Stick the only thing I'm missing, feet. all the thing I'm missing here is terrible wallpaper, and that can be arranged. We can have a room that we just set up. Just the find wallpaper. out the pattern that you have. You have it on the ceiling? No, it's not on the ceiling. No, no. It's... Oh, uh, uh, you got popcorn. Find on the out ceiling? what the pattern is. Let me know so I can buy that wallpaper and have it ready to go here in case I ever become <laughs> ambulatory. I you gotta ask do. It's the background she of the cabinet. It's nice. That's the funny part. Well, hey, Tony, but on she the might. ceiling, Tony, it, on the ceiling, it, is it is it popcorn? No, it's just paint. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, Patrick. See the thing. Not yet, the what? thing that makes the wallpaper is that border at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, Wayne's coating. That's uh, Wayne's coating. Wayne uh, sky. Uh, it's called. No, no, the, the, ah. the border pattern, and then the Wayne coat in below it, but. The, the pattern uh, border uh, between the wallpaper um, and, and the wing. Now, do you have it at the top, Tony, that border? Uh, yeah. Well, she's actually, I don't know what the hell she was thinking when she had this put up, actually. Because <laughs> I would imagine the wallpaper should match. It doesn't even match. But uh, it's kind of like flowers on used, top, stripes on the grandma's grandma's decorating service. Yeah. She probably yeah. did. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. This has been here a while, this room, but... It, you, it, I think... I, 
I don't know. I mean, I can ask you where she got it. I have no idea where she got it. I'm guessing wherever she got it, they're out of business probably still. It wasn't Sloan's. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever have eight. anybody call you up and say, what? Yeah, she's calling me now. She's a lifestyle. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, it's, you, you know, it's 1130 at night. Tell that woman to go to sleep, for Christ's sure. sake. Jeez, almighty. Oh. She's got a slave now. Yeah. You know, this is uh, good stuff. Well, this is work for him. He gets He's going to get paid for taking care of her. He's, that's the key word. He's going to get paid. He's not getting yeah. paid yet. That's why he's know? got to keep her alive for the time being and then <laughs> stuff her when she dies so they don't know she's gone. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you know, so this is going to be a Norman that, Bates situation before it's over with. And remember, Albert Stone. <laughs> he might believe us. I almost forgot about that. Let me. You know what she just said? The Mets are winning five two. What time is it? It's eleven forty. Yeah. She's and got nowhere to go tomorrow. Where are the Mets playing? She has nowhere to go ever, ever, Tony. It's three yeah. hours earlier. Hey, Tony, do you have an attic? No. Oh, that's, that's my next bad. stop. I guess. She's got a basement. You know. You need an attic. Yeah. She's. I didn't know Charlie was here. <laughs> yeah, Charlie's I just, here. Yeah, a little circle up on top. I didn't even notice you. Well, you can I move him down. Drag him into, into, you drag can, him into you can, a bigger square. You can drag him in and get rid, of, get rid of Get rid of. What did I get rid of? Bill. I don't want to uh, get. You rid don't of. get rid of anybody. We just go to a square. Get rid of me. Uh, just, just drag. Uh, if you, I'm you, a big one, you, you just drag you, Charlie you, over me, and you'll see a big Charlie. See, that's the other thing I hate about the new Skype. Is that you can't say to the new Skype, "Eh, give me five, six pictures on the screen at a time." Give me 10 pictures on the screen at a time. No, it's got those funny little dots at the top. So I never pay attention to yeah, those. I pay attention to my, you know, sorry, my screen. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're really sorry. I didn't you know. wish you were a tuna. Yeah. <laughs> Only the best. Yeah. 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 But uh, anyway, so, you know, I mean, I, that's what's terrible about it. I mean, among other things. But tonight, I haven't had to actually call anybody back to get them on, including Albert, who n never has called right. before. So, right. you know, but it's random. It's random. So, um, oh, yeah. so anybody, anybody uh, hear about the Supreme Court today and their judgment uh, with Missouri? Uh, uh, partial judgment. Well, well uh, it was well, it was a full judgment against their abortion. Uh, thing. Uh, I mean, because they wouldn't take yeah. up the question. They wouldn't. When they don't take up the question, that means it goes back to the lower court who made a decision. Well, there was an abortion thing that was upheld today. No, by that, the that Supreme was just court. that that you could um, that they were required to either bury or cremate the uh -huh. remains. Now, how do you do that with something that big? Okay. You know, Small shovel. No, but I mean, how, it's, uh, you even get to a fetus that's three months old and you don't have much of anything. No. Nope. You know, you've still got goop. Uh, how do you, you know, that's what I'm saying is these, these old men and these old women on the Supreme Court don't have a science degree and have no idea what a zygote is and what a, what a, uh, a developed what? baby is. And that, in fact, that thing they think is a heartbeat in one of those states is not even a heartbeat. Were they still selling the stem cells of these three-month-old uh, zygotes, no, as you call them? No. So because they uh, even, you know, maybe it's just a pile of goop to you, but I think they have stem cells that they were using uh, for well, other types well, of what's uh, terrible, medical procedures. No, 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 no. They come from somewhere else. Okay. Secondly, uh, they, cauliflower. Well, the thing that they're not also not taking into consideration is that uh, these mothers uh, then are now being forced to either have a funeral or a burial, okay, have a burial going on, or they're being forced to, uh, to cremate them, whereas before they could just be disposed of, all right? They put them in a jar. No, they didn't put them in a jar. They just yeah. disposed yeah, of them. Yeah, fill it with formaldehyde. And <clears throat> no, they didn't do They don't do that. You ever see that. these embryos in formaldehyde? Yeah, but that's... You know, you go to a you go to a science uh, 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 store, and they have those. Yeah. Seventh grade, you know. They... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they ha they have embryos in jars at a science store. Well, you know what I'm talking about? A, a medical <laughs> a, 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 a medical a medical supply store, Albert. You know what I'm talking about? Where you go and you can get like petri dishes. You, with, get, and, you get a fetus in a jar? Yeah, I've seen them. 
Can I get it online? I think when I went to high <laughs> school, I think my high school, <laughs> we, a human we had you. one in a jar. Yeah. My wallpaper is looking it good. sounds like a product. Yeah, it looked, Fetus in it jar. looked like the ending. It looked like the end of 2001, A Space Odyssey. Oh, I love that movie. Just, the ending is cool. You can but also I, get those I, little little seahorses. We're talking about right. embryos. I mentioned <laughs> yeah, I 2001 I the, A Space I Odyssey. Feel, I believe the seahorses, but the fetus in a jar. I got yeah. I got to have that if it's available. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to in a six pack I'm, right Look after this. I'm online for that. Yeah. You just go to fetus in a jar. Fetus are us. Hi, is this the science yeah. store? Yeah, I'm looking for the <laughs> fetus in a jar. Do you still have some? You send me and they have them at sharper image. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, uh, and then you can look at it and say, Fetus, don't fail me now. Oh, boy. <laughs> I got you some listeners. Time is. <laughs> that lost us a couple, actually. Uh, 20 minutes up. What? What are you doing? Giving time signals now? Uh, your friend Albert asked me what time it was. <laughs> no, I. Nah, forget it. Well, right. it's Albert, time to buy a fetus. He won't, he won't do it now, but Albert used to do. The first Donald Trump impression I ever knew anybody did, and it was the best. I can uh, I can barely do an impression of my own self. Yeah, that's how that's but how out I am right you, now. Where where everybody kind of like when you're doing an impression of somebody, they have a catchphrase or something that you hook on to. And yours mm -hmm. was many many people have said and many people. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. <laughs> yeah. That's about all I can do. <laughs> yeah. But, but I but I, I can go on a roll and do a bunch of it when I'm not as uh, out of my mind as well, I am right now. Well, next time you come on the show, have a couple of beers ahead of time. Do you want me to? Do you want me to have some bits prepared for you? Would you do that? <laughs> would you do that? So in I'm fact, ready to go. In fact, could I'll you do call you it? for the show? Could you do some, you the, Could you do something for me? Uh, this would be a great help to me with the show, Albert. Uh, can I give you prep? A prep sheet. <laughs> prep yeah. sheet. That's yeah, what a prep I thought. Sheet. <laughs> Every day he did a prep sheet for me, and this thing was a work of art. Okay. Do I send Do I send the invoice to your home or where? Or would you oh, like no that? invoice. Send it to his landlord. That's no invoice. <laughs> you know, it's for sleeping in our guest room. Well, well, no, that's friendship. That was friendship. <laughs> this is business. I know that was I did for many years. Yeah. No, I got paid for that. Did you really? <laughs> Yeah, to write those things. You yeah, were doing that just because you liked me. Uh, I do like you, but I didn't do it just because I like you. Yeah, wow. Because they gave That's me money to do that. See, send yeah. the bill to serious. No, he did this prep sheet. It was, it was, it was. I just still don't know where you got that all the information from. From various and sundry sources. Yeah. That I won't reveal. I know. I know. It's a trade I, secret. I've tried to recreate it, and I can't even do it. You know, the prep sheet I did for you was one of the reasons I got hired at Fox Radio. Yeah. Because they, they saw it and they said, I can't believe that you put all this stuff and with little icons that indicate what the story is. You know, like if there was a big uh, gun story, I'd put a, a, an icon of a gun. And they said, that's great. I, we are, none of our people have anything like that. And then I said, okay, I'll take the job. And then I said, no, I'm leaving. I hate this. Yeah, you you were you held that job at Fox for what two days something like days. that? Huh? Two, day. two, two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. And yeah. and the reason you left was uh, because I couldn't do my podcast anymore. Well, they wouldn't let you do the podcast right. for for Gabnet. The one I did before this show. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 They so said Albert, you can't do that, and you said why? And they said they gave some odd reason, and you said, well, then I'm leaving. No, they said, well, you have to make a decision by tomorrow. I said, I'll give you a decision right now. I, I'm not going to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, let me ask you this, Albert. Do you still put Fox down on your resume? Uh, no, it's too. That's too short a job. Oh. I have so many jobs that aren't on my resume now. It's <laughs> ever since I left Sirius. I dabble in things for about a day or two, and then I say he no. worked. He worked for the post office twice. Huh? Wow. Twice? Wow. Twice I work for the Postal Service. Do you yeah. have to carry an AK-47 to work there? <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I worked in a different part of the regular guys. We didn't have uh, to deal with the, with the regular... Uh, the uh, riffraff? Yeah. Well, no, he, no. yeah he, was, he was the part of the non-disgruntled version of the post office. That's right. That's right. Uh, it was a temp. 
It was a seasonal job. The, Did you the understand part. working for the post office why postmen go postal? Yes. Why? Oh, yeah. Why is it? Like machines. Uh, um, yeah, they're like machines. They're, they're, they're really not taken care of. Um, I, I suppose by the union they may be taken care of. I don't know that part. But by, by, by people who they work with managerial-wise, it's a, it's a terrible existence. A, at least where I was, the places that I saw. I'm, I'm not going to say that about the Postal Service all over the country, but I could see why someone would go postal under those conditions. These people, I go into the post office and you, and you mail one of those second day things, and they always say the same thing. They get the receipt out. This is your tracking number. They underline it. This is the survey. Mm -hmm. they, and it's the exact same thing. No matter who you get, uh, which line you're in, you get the same spiel. And they have to do that over and over and over again for eight hours a day. Uh, God knows how many people they see an hour, and they say the same thing. I, I asked one of them, I said, do you, do you go to sleep at night hearing those words? You know, but I mean, it's not just those people. It's just about everyone I saw in the Postal Service does exactly the same thing over and over and over again with little contact with the other employees that are there. When you yeah. think about the letter carrier, stuff in the box, no contact with other people. It's very much like that throughout the Postal Service. Mm -hmm. And I can see why people who, who can't handle that just go nuts doing it. Go nuts doing yeah. it, yeah. And yeah. it happens to be a good a good living. That's that that's the crazy thing about it. Yeah, for a job like that, you'd have to pay them a good living. Otherwise, but they not wouldn't. not them enough, I can tell you that right yeah. now. So, yeah. Charlie, anything you want to ask Albert? You haven't talked to Charlie in a long time, have you, <laughs> Albert? No, I'm just yeah, happy umpiring? to see him. Umpiring? No, I had to quit. I think you told me that last time. They don't allow they don't allow people with no toes in uh, baseball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. That's his mafia name, Charlie No Toes. Charlie yeah. No Toes. While well, I still had my feet anyway. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, we lost Ray Renati, so he's calling back. So it, what, he's, uh, oh, he's he probably goes. home or he's on his way home. There he oh, is. man. He left the gym. No, yeah. I, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Are you, uh, Still where, ringing. Where are you? Where are you walking? I just, I, I'm walking home. My bike, I, I crashed on my bike. No, because you were on the uh, show? Yeah. With the phone? No, so no, it's the, Alex's derailleur, fault. the derailleur broke. Why is yeah. it still ringing? Shit. What do you mean, why What's ringing? Why no, that's your head. It, from Skype the fall. is ringing on my side. Oh. oh. Uh, and okay. then he left. Okay. It doubled up. And we just lost him again. Mm -hmm. He'll okay. come back. All right. He'll come back. So yeah. he's walking his bicycle home because he fell during your show. Because we the, have no pity on this. Because the man. derailleur fell off. Derailed. Yeah. Derailed. Yeah, yeah he got the, derailed. Whatever what the derailing thing is. Yeah. So. Uh, I think it's a shifter. Hmm? Yeah. I think it shifts between the gears. Yeah. 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 Uh, Patrick, you have any question for uh, for Albert? Because it'll be the last time we'll see him for two years. So go ahead. <laughs> um, no, not not really. I mean, he seemed to be happy and and all of that. Yeah. I assume Florida is a temporary deal, and you'll be moving on at some point somewhere else. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. I'm staying here. I'm staying here. So oh, far, so far as I can tell. Go to you like I Florida? Huh? You like Florida? Um, yeah, I do. It's, I've it's given nice it some quiet. The the streets are immaculate and uh, drivable, very smooth. Yeah. It's 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 a whole different thing from being in New York. Not that I didn't love New York while I was there for for all my life so far. When but, you come uh, yeah. back though, when you come back to New York though, you seem uh -huh. to have missed it. You know? No, there are there are things there are things that I miss, but those things are quickly going away. Just about every place I go to that used to be a haunt or a good place to eat or something, gone. Just mm -hmm. about every one of them. And everywhere I go to, to, to every, you know, uh, neighborhood that had a good grit to it, that had some feel to it, some life, it's just getting built up too much. There's, there's too many. Yeah. Not even gentrified. Well, gentrified would be fun because that's, that's a, a brand new thing coming up. But this is, you know, it's so corporate. That's what's happening to this. Well, you've even seen a change in my neighborhood since oh, yeah. you were here the last time. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've. Why, why is it going Christian? 
No, we just we just have gone. It's it's that's nice. It's it's uh, it's just really well. It's very Christian. We got the churches right outside. Yep. You heard them on yeah. Sunday. Um, uh, I keep wanting. You know, the one thing about well, Florida that you probably it, missed in New York was the early bird specials. But the early bird special used to be at five o'clock for dinner instead of six. Now the early bird special is eleven o'clock in the morning for dinner. You know. Hey Albert, yeah. can I ask you a question? When you first, well, was there anything you thought you might have missed leaving New York? Because I'm like you, I've always lived here my whole life. Was there anything you thought like, oh, I'll, I'll never be able to get this there or miss something the most? Um, pizza, I think, is still is still a big one, and okay. everybody, you know, everybody says that when they go to New York. I, I think, lived in Florida. Oh. Huh? Uh, I lived in Florida when I was in college, and the pizza in Florida is absolutely the worst anywhere in the world. Uh, they, they they pride themselves on cardboard tasting better than Florida. Well, pizza. I don't like I don't like uh, I don't like pizza. Uh, I know that sounds strange, yeah, but it's I just from San Francisco. Well, no, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, they had uh, the the a style of pizza that I loved, which was really thin crust. You know, in New York. You, you had to double it over in order to eat it, right? Yeah. Uh, and then they went to the thick crust everywhere, and I stopped like really liking pizza. So when I come to New York, I that the only thing that I think I would miss if I left New York were the hookers. <laughs> <laughs> They're not around anymore. They haven't huh? been for years. Well, I know that's the problem. Part of the cleaning up of New York. You don't, you don't see you don't see anywhere where a hooker would want to go anymore. Everything's so clean and glass and steel and ooh. I wonder how I wonder how good the hooker business is doing in New York City now. Probably not very well. It's all, it's all internet now. It's it, not. There's no street. There's no street walking people. Oh anymore. really? You have to. You have to go on to uh, the in, the inter intranet. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. The interweb. Yeah. yeah. The dark web. Ask Ask Patrick. He can tell you how it works. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how how does you it work right. for me, baby? How, how does it work, Patrick? Um, you you type in I Red want tube. A, I want a hooker, and then websites come up. <laughs> that's probably as close as you can get. Yeah, that's probably pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I didn't. I you know now that I think about it, you know New York, there was maybe on every street there was at least one whorehouse. Or some establishment, some apartment that was being used as a brothel. And now, so, I don't think they even exist that way any longer. So de Blasio even screwed that up? Yeah, oh, but fuck de Blasio. <laughs> you know, why is he running for president? Can somebody answer me that question? Because everybody else is and he doesn't want to be left out? He likes to yeah. take up space. You know. Uh, He's a tall guy. He likes to show off. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I just I, I just want the streets taken care of, and you know, take care of New York. Don't don't go around running for president because you're not going to get it anyway. Why are these people doing this? Is what, what I don't get. I mean, what a waste of fucking time for most of them. I know why, because they uh, they raise money, and then they're able to keep that money Bingo. not personally, but they yep. can uh, put it towards campaigns and influence other things. Uh, with with the money that they raised, so uh, yeah, he, it's it's a fundraising. So what thing, is, right, what, is, what is the block? You gotta believe him because he's a Republican. He's talking about money, so he knows what he's talking. About. <laughs> yeah, because they're they're very good at money, aren't they? Well, yeah. when they talk when about it. When did you yeah. ever yeah, hear? Build that wall. When we got did, the money. When did you ever hear of a Republican going bankrupt? When? See? Well, <laughs> Trump's not a Republican. I mean. Uh, you know, even a Republican in New York, like uh, Rockefeller, they're not Republicans. They're what do we call them? Rhinos. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So why why do the Republicans all kowtow to him? Uh, it's, he he's walking the different walk right now. He's the standard bearer. That's why. Yeah. And they have to stick with the party. That's why. That's it. That's and he's all. Doing a good job. Well, he's what? a standard what bearer, but can we do a good job? Can we bear any more? My headphones don't work. <laughs> You know, oh, well, anyway, um, let's see here. Anything else happening in the news? Well, we, we got to the people on Everest. That's really stupid. Uh, as I say, it looked like uh, like uh, Black Friday, Best Buy, the, get to the top of, uh, of, of Everest. 
Um, There's a lot more people doing it. Well, because there are a lot more people who are, what's the word I'm looking for, who are hyping them to go up, that they get the money to outfit them and to send them up there and to, you know, oh, yeah, all you do is you, do, well, you, 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 you walk to the grocery store, right? Oh, yeah, all you have to do is go to the top of Everest. Here, well, we'll if, help Hil you. if Hillary could do it, so could, you know, anyone else. You know, next it'll be Biden. You know, you I, know? Uh, if I were to climb, if I, if, I were yeah. climber, if I were a climber, I wouldn't even do Everest because everybody would go, what the fuck? Everybody does Everest. What I would do is I would go to, uh, I would go to K2. K2. Yeah. Nobody's That's climbing a, it's K2. It's a harder mountain to climb, too. Well, it's harder, especially now, because what they've done is they put in all the ladders and the bridges and the everything else that make it much easier for you to get to the top of Everest. Where with those K2, fucking pussies that go to the top of Everest, those pussies with their ladders. Why don't you just become a social climber? You know, it's easier. <laughs> but you might have to learn to drink. Yeah, I might have to learn to drink, right. But uh, uh, oh, I don't know if I would ever try Everest. I don't know. I can't. I can't even walk down to the grocery store for Christ's sake. You know. So, <laughs> what the hell? By the way, Ray is frozen up there because he's never come back. He's in Everest. Yeah, yeah. But he's on Everest. That's the <laughs> other thing I don't like about Skype. It doesn't just drop them. It uh, freezes their picture, and that's the picture that stays there. Huh. Uh, is is that because of your uh, yeah, oh, wait a minute. There, uh, there's new, Patrick. new tech program? Has Patrick <laughs> left us? I think Patrick has left us. Now I can see your hand moving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can hear you breathing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, boy, this air conditioner, I'm going to have to get myself an air conditioner that works in here. It's not working like it should. What's the temperature outside? It's only 69 degrees. I don't know. It's 51 here. Move here, then you won't need it. Yeah, probably. By the way, you're in Wisconsin, right? Yeah. There's a place, quickly, I was watching this, this show uh, uh, called uh, American Gods, and they filmed it at a place called The House on the Mountain. Do you know about this place? It's a very weird place with, like, a carousel inside and uh, all kinds of exhibits that are strange... Uh -oh. Yes, it, it, um, uh, yeah, it, that's not what it's called, but yes, I know what you're talking about, and it, it's almost like going inside of a carnival. Yes, uh, yes. The Mad Hatter would have put together. I thought uh, that was apartment I-8. No, yeah. that's the hookers. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the apartment is 8I. 8i, I8. Yeah. yeah, now everybody knows where I live. So come on in, rob the place. It's got lots of equipment in it. You know, uh, come see me. Hey, uh, Albert, great seeing yes. you again. It's uh, good it's, to see it, you. It's every, like I never every get week. Every, every week now. <laughs> right. No, uh, he stayed with me for a week, and he's he is one of the few people I would allow to stay here for a week because he is so easy to... to have him come and stay with you. I really, really enjoyed your stay with us. Does Albert no, make his bed? I enjoyed it more than you enjoyed my stay. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. More than okay. <laughs> if you say so. Anyway, hear that? That's our theme song, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's called "Swing That Jazz Stick." Didn't know that, did you? Anyway, uh, we're uh, we're going the way of all flesh here in a moment. Um, we want to thank our citizens panel, which tonight has consisted of Ray Renati and uh, Tony and that hideous wallpaper, uh, uh, Charlie Wallace, uh, and uh, of course uh, uh, Albert Reynoso, who uh, who I do it more often. Will you, will you, Albert? Yeah. I would love to see yeah. you more often. This is fun, uh, and and you got nothing else to do in Florida except you know. Uh, be nice to your Go to wife. The early bird special. Yeah, right. And then there's yep. of course Phil, and there's Patrick. And uh, why don't you all uh, do a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave back to you. Okay. There we go. There they go, folks. Okay. Let me get rid of the uh, citizen panel here. Uh, yeah, goodbye, uh, Albert. Albert's waving a big goodbye. I got to get rid of all of them and close this down, so the next show can have access. Uh, to the uh, to the Skype. Okay? That's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, stay tuned next 
over most of the same station. For Jack Bishop, he does a program called The Intersection. Uh, and then tomorrow night at uh, 8.30 Eastern Daylight Time, it's our sports show, The Arena with the Franchise MC. At uh, 9.30, it'll be Damian Chaplin and The Exchange. And then tomorrow night at 10, we'll be right back here again. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.